Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, today I am going to be walking through the Westin Plaza, formerly known as Salisbury Mall, uh, with a friend of mine. Uh, we took this video with the idea in mind that I would be doing a voiceover. Uh, and this voiceover will actually contain an interview that I had with a professor here at Catawba College named Angela Bates. Um, so I began the interview with asking when the first time that she ever visited the mall was. And she said 1985, which is in fact when the mall was built. Uh, she said she was 15 and that the stores were downtown and all of them moved to the mall. Uh, downtown actually closed temporarily, uh, which was upsetting for her and for a lot of people, but it was exciting because it was new and different, and it was, quote, a place of their own. Um, all of their high schools were invited to the grand opening of the mall for several events. Um, she gave a couple examples, like a car wash and a fashion show, uh, and they would actually do raffles at these events uh, that could only be claimed in person to make sure that people came back. Uh, another marketing strategy that that mall seemed to have done back in the day uh, to try and keep people coming back. Um, at first, she said her parents would go to different places of the mall, uh, but as soon as she got her driver's license, they would allow her to go alone. Um, and she said her favorite thing to do there is to shop. Um, <laughs> yes, and she said that she she showed up at the mall at least once a week uh, to shop with her friends and that she blew quite a lot of money on it. Uh, the next question I asked was actually along a different vein. I kind of asked what is the difference um, of, of mall culture from then and now and how that affected her. Um, and she said that she prefers to shop online now um, and that the convenience is much more beneficial than the mall itself is, and quote, the nostalgia is gone. The mall craze is over. 1985. Huh, 1985. This is a remnant of the 80s. One water main for sprinkler hydrants and potable water. Dude, that's so cool. Roses are still there. Roses are still there all the way over here. 1997. What is this one? I don't see a year on that one. That's so cool, though. You got the infinite mirror. Ah, uh, yeah. There's so many of us. Yeah. Oh, no. How long have those been? Oh no. Really nice stage here. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I just thought that I'd include those video clips because there was some pretty interesting stuff, and uh, I thought it'd be nice to include myself and Andrew's honest reaction. Fortunately, around that time in the video, uh, we had to leave. Uh, there was a few people in, this, in the mall that were uncomfortable being filmed. Uh, and so out of respect for them, we decided to pack up and go. Uh, but we explored all of the mall that we were planning on exploring. Uh, now I can continue with the interview. The next question that I asked Angela is, what makes malls so different um, from a parent's perspective or from a teen's perspective? Um, and she responded and said that she thinks it was safe, um, that the parents didn't have to worry about where the kids were. They were just having harmless fun. Um, there was so much to do that everything that you could possibly think of was right within those walls. Uh, the picture that I have on the screen now is actually a picture of the Eastland Mall in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, because when I asked her why the um, dead mall videos um, are actually popular, in her opinion, um, she said that the person who films the video ties the space itself, in general, uh, back to the childhood uh, and the memories that they have. And when I asked her uh, what memories 
she has uh, of them all, specifically tied to a space, uh, she said that any time she sees someone ice skating, uh, it reminds her of Eastland Mall in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, the last question that I asked, actually, uh, was what movie or piece of media do you think best a uh, depicts uh, the mall craze um, and what malls were like back in the day? Um, and her response was, of course, Back to the Future. When I asked her why, she said, and I quote, It was very accurate, except for the flying car, of course, which I wholeheartedly agree with. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for listening to this video. And uh, I think we've finally come to the root of what the mall craze in media is. And it's purely nostalgia.